Welcome back to the Yorkshire Dales. Say hello, fellas. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful day today. I'm just going to have a little wander. I know this is old ground. Well, by old, I mean back to Elizabethan. So, hopefully, I might just find something. <laughs> The sheep don't seem to agree. <laughs> okay, let's start with a compulsory iron ring. Ta-da! Now, that looks interesting. Buckle. Is it a buckle? Is it a horse brass? What are you? Oh, you're one of them Dalton Supplies Limited. <laughs> You're a colossal buckle. Yay! <laughs> I found one of these about four fields up. Oh well, I know what you are. Yeah, and you've got your name written on you up there as well. <laughs> hey! Well, there's a good start. <laughs> That's it now. I'm going to do a poll. I'm not going to find out else now. <laughs> Tiniest little signal, barely registering at all on the non-ferrous. So I dug down a spade and I got a 91. So I thought, oh, I'll well, keep on going. And at 14 inches, I turn up a doorknob. <laughs> now, look at that spade plus at least five inches. Now that's what I call deep. <laughs> a doorknob. Even the sheep are panting, it's warm, I'm in the shade here. Just found another one of them pyramidal type effort. Heavy, really heavy metal. The only thing I can think of is they may be studs off a, say a 1930s tractor. I've had a few of these and they all vary in size, that's the problem. <laughs> This was a very good field, so I'm going round and anything that's giving me a signal with no numbers, I'm digging. Again, I've just got this up from 14 inches. It's lead, it's solid lead, and it's cast, look. It's, it's cast into a wedge ready for use to uh, jam things in. Hey, hey. Oh, front of a locket there or something, it's got a glass, glass front on it. I thought it was a watch at first, but no, no, no. Oh, it's getting a bit too warm. Okay, that's a new one on me. Great big chunk of brass. And it's curved. And it's hinged. But I think it's hinged straight down there. Not, not come across the likes of you before. Hinges, yes, but curved hinges. Ah, interesting. Hello, welcome to the Roundup. Very short hunt today. It was warm. I got I overheated so I packed it in. The idea of today was I was just going to take a nice gentle little stroll round a paddock where I'd found gold and silver. <laughs> and uh, I set the dais on uh, Discrimination 2 in um, GM Power. And I upped the sensitivity um, to about 93 and I was very careful and I was picking up signals that didn't give numbers so everything you see is coming up from about 14 inches down apart from this of course which was on the top <laughs> Junkite wise how that got down so deep I'll never know bit of copper pipe odd little thingies uh, 
this this is electrical things obviously ploughed that paddock at some time and uh, really deep ploughed it chunks of lead look at look at the size of these things and you're getting a a tiny little signal uh, on the horseshoe just a tiny little ferris uh, oh my imagination playing tricks with me again <laughs> I can see someone sat there um, looking at me. <laughs> anyway, a tiny little signal um, on the non-ferrous horseshoe and uh, digging down a spade, pinpointer in, no reaction, down another half a spade, getting a signal and digging down until all of a sudden that chunk of lead turns up and another chunk of lead. <laughs> and another chunk of lead. All of these came from deep, 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 deep. Now this this piece of lead, it's um, it's been made, look. That was made in a mould. There's the little depression. They poured lead in a mould and they made a wedge. What the wedge is used for, I don't know, but that one there, that's what they did with lead. <laughs> oh, this my goodness, this was deep. It's a, a door handle, isn't it? Or a cupboard handle. But it's got a... Or is it? It's, it's got this little um, pulley sort of wheel on the back. As though it was uh, fitted... Um, oh, a bell pull or something like that. Because we are quite near the hole. Uh, now, this glass front which comes out and the ring is it an eyepiece for something or, or is it uh, photographs do no this one I got a lot I've had a lot of these I've had one with uh, that's obviously been drilled in there and they, they overdid it, it came out the side. Um, don't know what they're for. Unless the studs on, on tractor wheels, but they they are heavy, listen. Whomp. I like this one. <laughs> when it came out I said, hey, that is a Dalton Supplies Limited buckle. <laughs> I got one a couple of fields higher up. Uh, not so long ago either, matter of days. Um, but oh, that pleased me. That the minute I saw it, I thought, "That's oh, a Dalton." <laughs> Getting quite expert on these things. So it must have come off the delivery truck as he's going round, or the delivery cart, and he's losing them at every different farmhouse. Okay, piece de resistance. Look at this. Bronze, curved, weird look, curved, and it's a hinge. But oh, that's got me as that. Um, iron, iron nuts on here. So whatever was it was in there that it was fastened to, and it wasn't very thick that it was fastened to either. Look. Uh, with the fingernail, not much more. But my goodness, what are you? You are a hinge, you are bronze, you are fancy, and you are curved. And I've never seen a curved hinge before. <laughs> um, so come on, you experts out there. If you know what that is, you win the prize. First prize, day out with me. Second prize, two days out with me. <laughs> Right, no coins, but not to worry. If you go out, even for a short period of time, you will find something, and something interesting. So I'll leave you with that, and I'll wish you good luck, happy hunting, till I see you next time. Bye.